Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today. I'm going to be talking about the top 5 best mods for Minecraft 1.16.1. We have all sorts of different mods in this list from like tech based mods to more utility based mods to even some mods that are going to help with building and things like that. There's all sorts of different mods in this video and all these mods are Forge compatible. We also have dedicated tutorials for many of them so it's just absolutely incredible and it will help you out so so much when the time comes to get these mods installed. But nonetheless if you do want to know how to get these mods installed there is a link in the description down below on how to add mods to Minecraft 1.16.1. You can check that out. Also, all the mods mentioned in this video are linked in the description down below as well. So go down there and get the links in the description down below if you do want to check them out. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you are looking to start a Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the only way to do it. They allow you to set up a modded server, a vanilla server, a paper, bucket, spigot, whatever kind of server you want you can set it up very very easily in under five minutes so go check out apex again the first link down below at the breakdown.xyz slash apex nonetheless let's go ahead and jump right on into our list here the first one on our list is a tech based mod and that is mechanism Mechanism is a basically automation style mod in many ways that has both low, medium, and high tier options that allows you to basically bring your ores and your ore processing and all that stuff into the modern age. It has its own power system add-on, its own tools add-on, and just a general additions like smaller additions add-on on top of the main mod itself. It's a really, really cool mod. It's got things like hydrogen powered jetpacks, a cool pet style robotic thing called Robit to follow you around. It's also got a digital mine with state-of-the-art filtering technologies to automate your mining and basically make mining automatic, go out, get ores, all that stuff without you having to think about it. You can be building while your ores are just piling up and piling up and piling up. There's a fusion reactor with the, uh, you know, mechanism power generators add on there that allows you to generate power to be able to, you know, use all of this technology so you don't have to worry on other mods or anything like that to generate power. Mechanism has those systems built in. And then there's also different, you know, various transmitters for transmitting items, fluid, gases, energy, and even heat around and, and making all these machines work. It's so, so cool. And then there's also an effective machinery configuration system that basically allows for the creation of an item transport network capable of sorting and filtering items using logistic transporters, which is pretty cool. So overall, this is a really cool like tech based you know automation style mod and I always like to include at least one of these in the list because they're really really cool and it's something that I personally love about modern Minecraft the tech the automation the you know being able to like mine trees automatically mine ores in the case of mechanism automatically stuff like that is so cool to me and it really and truly for me is a huge part of modern Minecraft that I honestly have to have if I'm going to play a very, very modded version of Minecraft. After that, we move on to number two on our list, and that is useful backpacks. Now, this is a backpack-based mod, and it's pretty cool. You make a backpack, and you can put it, you know, in your inventory, and allows you to be able to add more things to your inventory while mining, exploring, all of that stuff. Now, there's three different kinds of backpacks. Of course, there's a small, medium, and a large. You can select any different colors you want. I mean, there's tons of different colors of backpacks, and this is just a very useful and simple mod. You put the backpack on, basically keep it in your inventory. You can open it up, move ores in there, move items in there, move anything you want in there, and then move it back out whenever you need it later. It's something that I personally love about modern Minecraft as well, is the ability to expand your inventory. And that's what useful backpacks allows you to do. You're not just limited to that little inventory that you have. You can use things like backpacks in this case, useful backpacks, to add in backpacks and get a different sort of inventory space and an expanded inventory and that's just such a cool thing but with the expanded inventory you kind of need to be able to see how to craft all these different items with all the stuff that you're able to keep in your inventory in order to do that you can use a mod like just enough items now just enough items is a utility mod right basically it's not adding anything new to the game right mechanism added all these different tech objects and different automations you know you've got useful backpacks it's adding backpacks to minecraft however just enough items doesn't do that but it is an important mod because if if you have like 17 different mods, you kind of need to know how to craft the things in them. You kind of need to know how to make the things in them. You kind of need to know what's in them, right? And just enough items allows you to do that by being able to search through all the items in Minecraft, click on the items, find the recipes, get those recipes added automatically into a crafting table by one little button click, and then craft the items very, very simply. So it's an amazing, amazing setup for Minecraft, and it's something that you have to have if you're running even just one mod that has a decent amount of items in it and a decent amount of things being added to the game. Just enough items is something you have to add to Minecraft in order to get the best experience out of modded Minecraft. It can also help in vanilla, right? It can also help without any, you know, mods adding things in, but it's really built to hook into these mods and figure out how to craft stuff in them in order to make 
the playing experience much, much better for you. Speaking of making the playing experience and specifically the exploring experience of Minecraft much, much better, next up on our list is Biomes O Plenty. Now, this is a mod that's very, very popular for adding in new biomes. It adds in tons of them. The amount isn't ever specified, but personally, I've seen over 15 new biomes added between the Nether and the Overworld, and it's actually a lot more than that because while well, there's types of biomes, there's also subtypes of those biomes and things like that, so it's quite complicated, which is a good thing. It gives you tons of different exploring and different options that you can do. Now, one thing about Bombs of Plenty is it is required to start a new world, so if you're just getting started with modded, it's something you need to add on the front end to be able to add it to the world and get the best modded experience possible. It adds tons of different trees and new blocks. I mean, hundreds upon hundreds of new blocks added that can help with building and making things look better. It's, it's a really, really cool mod and one that you have to have personally. If you said, Nick, what is one mod that you have to have in modded Minecraft? My response would be biomes of plenty and then probably second would be just enough items because those two things alone, you're going to be able to see all the stuff that's in biomes of plenty with just enough items and biomes of plenty is adding so many different, you know, biomes and things like that and with 1.16 having nether biomes added in, plus the nether biomes from Biomes of Plenty, truthfully, there is no blank, empty, ugly, boring nether. None of that's there. It's all got biomes, and it is so cool. The nether experience in 1.16 with Biomes of Plenty is just amazing. So that is something I would 100% recommend moving forward, is if you are starting a mod in Minecraft, you know, world or whatever, you need to use Biomes of Plenty from the start. Otherwise, you can't use it, and that's why it's so important. Now, moving on to number five on our list. Yes, we're already on number five, but don't worry. I've snuck two extras in here for you but number five on our list is immersive engineering now immersive engineering is another sort of tech based mod but it kind of adds things a little more realistic right it tries to make things a little more unique and realistic for example instead of just like you know random glowing tubes to transfer you know energy and stuff this actually has real power lines so it's realism inspired instead of one block that magically spits out dust when ore is put in it right just magically making things happen immersive engineering has a crusher that's a huge five by three by three sort of rotating wheel block that crushes the ores down it makes it feel a lot more real a lot more you know true to the real world when it comes to how engineering and automation and things like that work in the real world, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool setup. For example, even for mining, right, auto mining, it offers an excavator, right, that has a massive footprint, three by seven by eight, that digs ores out of the ground with big rotating bucket wheels. It's, it's really, really cool, and it's a unique mod. You're seeing all the B-roll on your screen right now, but it's a really, really cool and really, really unique mod. It also, you know, works with RF tools, build craft, ender IO, all those stuff. Now those mods aren't updated to 1.16.1 yet, but when they are, Immersive Engineer is going to support it out of the box. So really, really cool mod, really, really cool, you know, sort of setup there if you want a more realistic automation sort of experience. So there are two automation mods. You got Mechanism and we have Immersive Engineering. Now, moving on here, that's five mods. We've been over five mods, but I felt like that wasn't enough for this video. So I wanted to top it off with two just little bonus mods. One is Gravestone. Now, Gravestone is very small. It's a very small mod. That basically means when you die, it's going to put a gravestone where you died in game. Then you can go back and get your stuff back by breaking that gravestone. You can also make cemeteries and things like that by picking up the gravestones with Silk Touch and placing them somewhere. It's a very simple mod, but it's something I wanted to include here because it's just a cool mod that, you know, if you're just wanting to look for a little mod that adds a little tweak and a little feature to Minecraft, or if you want to be able to get your stuff back without having to turn on keep inventory, you can do that with gravestones. And then last but not least is World Edit. Now, World Edit is a huge mod that's building based. This is our big building based mod on this list, and it allows you to create expansive buildings, huge cylinders, everything in just a few clicks. Even wanting to copy and paste and make schematics, you can do all of that using World Edit. And that's why it's such a powerful, 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 powerful mod for Minecraft that is pretty much a must-have. Every big Minecraft server build you've ever seen, 100% used World Edit extensively. So that is why it's such an amazing mod, and that's why it's something we wanted to recommend here for your single-player world. If you're more of a builder, you need to add World Edit. So here you go. There's our list of top five, but really top seven mods for Minecraft 1.16.2. These are the best mods that we could find currently available more and more mods release every single day for 1.16.1. So if the mod that you're like, well, this one's out and it's on this list, it probably wasn't out when this video was made. So we might do a follow-up for this video and we will if 1.16.2 comes out 
we're going to do a follow-up. And with that, we'll have even more mods. The more the bigger mods, you might see a Chisel 2 update, for example, for 1.16.2. But nevertheless, there y'all have it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, playdotbreakdowncraft.com. We've got custom factions, custom skyblock, medieval survival is a player-based economy with 30 custom quests, aquatic survival slash shop-based economy. It's incredible. Over 250 players online every single day. So come play with us. Playdotbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Enjoy your new Minecraft mods, and I am out. Peace.